An important part of Clive's business are his valuation tours, where members of the public can bring along their own items to have them valued by Clive. From time to time, apprentices from the Antiques Academy are invited to join him and his team. Throughout this course, we'll follow two of them, Laura and Opal, as they join Clive, David and Royston, and learn what it's like to assess antiques in the real world. So what have we got here then, Elizabeth? Uh, it's a Constantina that I bought 30 years ago, thinking I could learn to play it. I've never learned to play it. It's been in a wardrobe ever since. Yeah, it's a different edit. Oh yes, yeah, some of my grandsons have had a puff at it too. Yeah. Do you yeah. mind if I have a little bit of a, a go? Mm -hmm. Can you play with it? Yeah, a little bit of a... I don't, not promising that I might not pierce oh, anyone's eardrums. It's not too bad, is it, for first attempt? No. So what do we know about these things? What do I know? I yeah. know that's a very good make. Right. And I think it must be a very old one because of the lack of embellishment on it. Yeah. Actually, I'll tell you a fact you like. Wheatstone actually invented the Constantina. Yes, I told you that, didn't I? Did you tell me that? <laughs> <laughs> you told me they actually invented it? No, I you, said it was the best one. It is the, one, it is the best one? Yes. But they actually, they actually invented it? Yeah. Uh, isn't that marvellous? Was that the first one they invented? The first, the first, the first, that's what makes, that's, that's what makes the difference in value of these things. You know, the first one <laughs> yes. is worth probably 15, 20,000. Oh. The first one. Yeah. And then it goes downhill from then on, obviously. Mm. <laughs> you know. So this, I'm afraid, is a, a bog standard, which is a bit rude, isn't it, really? Bog standard, because they're still a nice thing. Nice mm. instrument, do you think? Mm, beautiful. So what makes the difference in value of these things? Any the idea? Is it something relating to the amount of these? Yeah, buttons. The buttons yeah. on that. And something about, I mean, I was just having it there. It doesn't seem very worn, the leather. No, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's, it's important. Gorgeous. It's important. Another thing that's nice about this one, it's got the original bellows mm -hmm. with all the gilding Intact. inside there. Yeah. It makes it really nice. Really beautiful. Has it ever yeah. been played? Do you know, I don't. Well, it must have been because. The strap must have got worn out and right. dropped off with people carrying it along, must uh, it? I yeah, would have yeah. thought it would have rotted the leather. Mm. Did you not ever get it out and give it a little go? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to play it. I even got music for it, but I couldn't do it. <laughs> so with these things, I will say there's two things against this one. The number of buttons, it hasn't got like 48 or 60. It's got 46 buttons, I'm afraid. Yeah, I know. Right? Which is not as good as a 48 or 60 button one. Mm -hmm. And the big thing against it, which uh, Laura won't know yet, but she will learn, is it needs metal ends. When they have the metal end ones, called the Jeffreys, mm. people like yourself from Ireland, they actually still play them over there. Yeah. But the wooden one hasn't got the same yeah, tone. Yeah, that never had metal ends. No, yeah, have you seen ones with metal ends? They're yes, like and in. silver ends. No, it's I've silver ends. Yeah, that's the ones. Well, yeah, yes. that's the ones. That's the ones that make... The money. Big money, twos and three thousand pounds, yes. which I think you've probably seen somewhere on... Yes, lots of times. Lots of times, yeah. Well, not lots of times, though. But there's something, if, I don't know, if it's, it's a nice thing. The age is, what, 1870? I reckon, yeah. 1880, yeah. And the wood? Rosewood. Rosewood, very good. Mm. And, uh, but it's, it's a nice thing. It's something that, um, I don't know, if you wanted to sell it, I'd probably try and buy it off you. Yeah? Well, yes. Uh, Make me an offer <laughs> well, I like that the, I can't refuse. <laughs> I like them as reasonable as possible because it's very risky. I must admit, we looked in the. Um, did you look on the uh, computer for me? Yeah, we did have a, a few bit. It was all yeah. over the place in terms of relation to the buttons. So. So, what do you think that you, you, we should offer? Four fifty. And what was you expecting? Mm, Five hundred. What do you think? Four eighty. No, You're five, there. 500. <laughs> I didn't expect this one. <laughs> You'll make a profit. All right. I think she's a nice lady, Elizabeth. She's a nice lady. I'll give her the 500. Okay? Yeah. Thank You'll you very much. I will. And I'll be out of here.